JR, JR. <laughs> How are you, JR? How are you? Good, and you? French artist JR is known for his larger-than-life portraits, but the 33-year-old photographer has chosen a less conventional canvas for his work. The streets, or as he calls them, the best gallery he could imagine. Could we think of you as the traditional media, or actually are you against that traditional media and trying to present something different? It's not in my mind to, to go any, uh, like to walk controversially or to walk illegally. Sometimes it's the only options I have. I just think of how it would fit the best in the community and for the people. If it makes sense for the people, then it makes sense for me. So, what are you? <laughs> are you a photographer? Are you an artist? Are you a rebel, uh, an activist? Uh, what are you? I think the beautiful thing is the world, the word artist combines everything. And so I stick behind it really well. From graffiti artist to photographer, JR's portraits challenge some of the world's most widely held concepts. I'm trying to raise questions, not give answers. So when I'm there, I might have actually a lot of, of unanswered, you know, questions. So I go there and I ask the people, what is it that's happening here? Why is this wall there? And people are like, oh, you don't know? I'm like, I said, yes, I've seen it on TV, but I want to hear it from you. And then I'm like, okay, I have this project in mind because I'm an artist, and I show them my work. And I said, that's how I would think about it. And they're like, oh, wait, you should not do it this way. You should do it that way. You should place them here or there. And then through their eyes, I realized where my work would make so much more sense. And slowly it became their work. Take, for instance, his 2007 project, Face to Face, where JR pasted side by side photos of Israelis and Palestinians on both sides of the 25 foot Israel Palestine wall. Did you find uh, when you were right at that huge wall that at some point there was no conflict between the people, but it was a conflict of governments? What I realized there is that there was a much bigger wall than this one that we see every day in the media. It's the wall that people have in them, the wall that the fear wall that they have in their, in their mind of how they see the others, what the others might do to them, and how they only see him through the media. The psychological wall was really big there. And now JR has taken his talents to yet another level, film. At last year's New Yorker Festival, JR's artwork was at the core of a 14-minute world title, Ellis. The film, starring Robert De Niro, reflects on the immigrant experience at Ellis Island. There were all these millions of people who come through here, and I see them all. People of every color, shape, and size. So I say, how can we make this film? So it talks about yesterday, but about today, so that any word can be understood from our present time. When you come here to the United States, to New York, or here in Miami, and you hear what many candidates are saying about the immigrants. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. What's your reaction? How do you feel? I realize that it's, you know, the same fear that we're having right now in Europe. He's referring to Europe's own issues with immigration. More than one million Syrian refugees have traveled to the region since last year. The influx is a result of Syria's civil war. There's no debate about welcoming refugees. They're refugees, they don't have any choice. But what's happening right now in Europe and the way people have to travel to actually get there, and I know he also, you know, uh, in the United States to get there too, is actually really sad because um, a lot of people, they, they are chasing for a better life. And it's always that same, you know, same idea that we all have. But JR made his own unintentional contribution to the crisis. A ship bearing one of his photos ended up rescuing 213 migrants. And one final question. Your ego seems to be so controlled. I haven't seen a single picture of you. You know, I try to not appear so that people will recognize. I'd rather my work being shown than myself, basically. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs>